When you're driving the back roads, you probably see nature and beauty. But we see deals. Oh, wow. This is amazing. I'm Marty Gable, and I've been in the antiques business for more than 15 years. They call me Bam Bam. I love hunting down mantiques and anything with wheels. Oh, holy moly! It's like we're inside a treasure chest. Although we may be opposites, we travel together. Hoping to attract the best in back road bounty. It's nice to see that you're, uh, you're driving with your feet on or near the floor today. That's oh. impressive. Oh, you don't, you don't like the one leg up? No, you get into a comfort zone when you drive that, frankly, scares the bejeebers out of me. <laughs> no, well, you only need one foot to drive. That's true. What makes you think you're such an expert driver? I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but no speeding tickets, no accidents. You've never got speeding tickets because you haven't been caught yet. So today I got a little treat for you. Today we're going to see a couple of dealers that have a surplus of stuff in a barn. They probably got a great eye for stuff. They probably got a good idea what the market's doing. So if they're gonna let us into their surplus, their overflow, yeah. we should be getting good deals. Nice. We're just lucky we got that special in just for today. Yeah, that's awesome, man. I can't wait to see what they've got. Do you know what I've noticed about most antique dealers? That's borderline being an obsessed shopper. And it leads to almost hoarding. That's where we come in. Hey. Hey, how you guys doing? Good. Bam Bam. Sasha, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. Bam Bam, Bill. Nice to meet you, Bill. Hey, Marty, nice how are to see you? you. Hey, Marty, good, good to, to see, see you. you. Thanks for having us. This is quite the spot. Thanks. Thank you. Is this your house? This is our house. Really? Yeah. Wow. Bam Bam, Bam, Bam is, is the, the one with, with the hat. The <laughs> <laughs> Marty's the other one. <laughs> so what brings us out here today? Well, we've got two shops here. OK. In town, specializing in vintage stuff. Mm -hmm. And we've got a barn here on the property, which is chock full of overflow and projects that we haven't gotten to. Or we're never going to get to, let's be honest here. Uh, nice. I've got one okay. of those files. Just not a barn yeah. full. Yeah. Yeah. Overflow is usually priced right where we like it. So yeah. why don't we take a look in there? See okay. Sounds good. Absolutely. Okay. Here you go, guys. Jumping, your hose is fat. So is everything for sale? Just about everything, yeah. There's a couple pieces that we'd like to hang on to. Oh, okay. Cool. I'd say about 90, 98% of it is available. There's a sweet porcelain sign right here. Tri-mount. I got no idea. It sounds like uh, something with three mounts. I have been asked about that sign, and I don't know, unfortunately, what tri-mount is all about either. Well, it's interesting. It's, it's in great shape. It's a porcelain sign. Just out of curiosity, what are you asking on something like that? I'd say because it is porcelain, um, at 60 bucks. Would you take 50 on it? You want to meet in the middle? I'd rather give you 50. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we'll, we'll I'll break the ice here. Let's do Done? 50. Let's yes! Do 50. The ice is broken. All right. We're swimming in deals. Let's do this, buddy. <laughs> That is an old dentist uh, oh, yeah. contraption. Yeah. It's, it's an old dental drill. <laughs> I would think that dental drill would probably be Early 1920s. 1920s. You're gonna go more into the 30s and the 40s on these ones yeah. here. Yeah. What are you gonna What are you gonna What are you gonna sell it for right now? Um, I'd say 100 bucks. Transformed into a light, I think you can get, you know, I think the sky's seven, the limit. 800 for it. Yeah, the right person. Right? The right yeah. person. Yeah. I think I would pay 75 for it. Mm -hmm. Just, it, it is a lot of work. I'll do two, or 75 for it, yeah. Okay, yeah, awesome, yeah. there we go. He can always fill a cavity if he doesn't make a lamp out do of it. Do some work on Bam Bam. <laughs> Just one less project for us to have to do. And one more for me. Yeah. yeah. Bam Bam, you're awfully quiet over there. What's going on? I'm reading, but it's not in English. Oh, the French team sign? Yeah, there's yeah. A, a team sign. Drink Sh team. Short-lived short -lived beverage on Pepsi's <laughs> side of things. What do you got to have out of this sign? I could do like 60 for that sign. OK. And this, this guy beside it? Yeah. Not very old. No. But kind of cool, I guess, if you're into fishing. What would you have to have for, for the pair? I could do 100 for the pair. Well, then I'm happy All with right. it. You know Let's what I mean? It's, everybody's happy. It's a win, win, win. You know, it's interesting because I can't pick a favorite between Bill and Sasha on who I wanted to deal with. It was very item specific today. Uh, Did so. you not pick this up because it said it's a lab technician set for girls? The politically incorrect 50s. Yep, you're absolutely right. That's exactly why I didn't pick it up. Marty looks like the type of guy who would enjoy a lab technician set for girls. He just has that air about him. 
He looks like he'd appreciate it, you know? He'd appreciate <laughs> the, the kitsch factor and uh, the political incorrectness of it. And this is, this looks very 50s. Oh, yeah, all the nice pink colors inside here. This is all about the packaging on this one, I think. What do you want for it? How's 40? I'll pay 30 for it. I don't think we can do it for 30. I, c I could meet you in the middle yeah. if you want to throw another five on it. OK, I'm not going to make the deal just yet, sure but have. I may throw in a pile of something else. All right. I'm going to think about that one. OK. Do you know what this is? It's a wood sign. Yeah. With white stenciling. It's one of the old Burma Shave signs that will line the highway. Um, so even though it's a wood sign, they're actually, it's actually one of the more valuable wood signs. Oh, OK. And because it's wood, not many of them survived. Yeah. Have but you I seen one I... for sale before? I haven't. I, mean, I saw I've... one for sale in Alabama. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. What were they asking for it there? About 200. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, like, well, it's going to see it's going to be a big chunk yeah, yeah. on the bottom, too. Yeah. 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 Like, even if you were asking, that, that's going to be a tough sell with that damage there. That big chunk of it really hurts it. If it was all one piece, even with less wear, I'd be interested. But that's going to scare me off. And it probably scared a few customers off, too. If you're looking for, you know, if, if you're a collector and, you, and you're looking for, you know, the mint piece. The mint piece, yeah. this is not it. Yeah. No. But if you're looking for a, nice a piece, piece to really look great in your bathroom, or exactly. if you're into, you know, a lot of guys are, are now getting into old razors and stuff yep. like that, or if you've mm -hmm. got that the kind old of barbershop thing. I'm going to offer $40 on it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Right. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot more ground to cover, buddy. The old Genesee. Yeah. I don't buy a lot of the, the trays. A little jazz or something like that. 15. Uh, trays probably 60s. It's definitely served a lot of drinks. Yes. Yeah. I, I'll think about that one for now. Sure. I'm going to keep peeking. What do we got over here? Oh, that's from when I was in the CIA. Man, CIA <laughs> insurance? That's got to be safe. Yeah. I don't think there's a huge market out there for insurance companies. Not a ton, but signs. It's, it's great color. It's great yeah, color. Right? It's not embossed or anything, but it's it's a great color, great sign. What do you guys want out of this? Um, I'm not going to beat you up too much on that one, I Bam Bam. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> how's 30 bucks? 30, 30 bucks is a smoking no, no, deal. No, 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 no. no. Oh, no. <laughs> it sounded like a deal was made. 30 yeah. bucks, got to wow. go. Oh, he liked it, and I made him a, a quick $30 offer, and he very quickly Big uh, mistake. Big accepted, and mistake. Sasha was not happy about that. This is hilarious, and I'm surprised yeah. Bam Bam didn't pick this up right away, because he loves visitors with meat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is obviously half of the sign. This is it from a, uh, with meat. It a, might. a local <laughs> buffalo farm. I'll give you 25 for it, the way it stands. Ooh, I can't do 25. Mm. The best I could do, and this is giving you a great deal, mm -hmm. is 35. I'll pay you 35 for this if you give me the lab set for 30. Bill? <sighs> They're both Sasha's pieces. I, I'm gonna let her. I'm gonna let her take it. Okay, I'm feeling generous today, so I'll I'll take your offer. Awesome. Wow. There we go. <laughs> Crazy. The deals are flying now. I know, eh? <laughs> She's kicking them out the door. Speaking of kick, you got a kick crate under yeah. here. Yeah. The Canadian Coca-Cola. Yeah, now I I see a ton of crates. Yeah. And you always see Coke and Pepsi and stuff like that, but I don't find a ton of kick ones. No. What do you guys want out of something like this? 25? Uh, I think that's too low. These are- 25 these are... sounds good. <laughs> I'm, Can uh, we no, discuss we're, we're that? Negotiating. I'd have to get at least 35 out of this crate. OK. Because there are just not many of them. I'd have to get at least 35 out of this crate. OK. Because there are just not many of them. I'm going to pass on that one for now. All right. I know Bill will take 25. I know he will. Yeah. I'll take 25 right oh. now. I'll do it for 25. Can I do it? You can do it. Yeah! <laughs> oh, it feels so good. So I think I'm done shopping in here for today. Are you? Yeah, I'm good. I got to count up my signs, man. I think I went a little overboard. Let's okay. go find out. All right, we're going to make good? our pile, and then we'll settle up. Great. I got out of 
here without getting hurt dentally. Nice. And with some really, really killer deals. Um, on some stuff I don't know a ton about. Things like this tri-mount sign. I saw as soon as I walked in, nice porcelain sign. Um, and at 50 bucks, I'm not gonna let that one stay here. This is, right. this is going from overflow to my flow. The old team pop and paired up with the Jackson's leader sign. At $100, those are definitely coming home with me. Then I found this guy. Super secure insurance from the CIA. And for 30 bucks, I don't even know if I wanna set that down again. And then we, we managed to get a deal on the kick cola crate. And again, there's not a lot of these out there. And that puts me in a grand total of $205 and no dental work. Thank you both Thanks, so much. Sam. Marty, give him the drill. Well, the dental drill is a really cool piece. And like you said, you would plan on turning it into a lamp. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Cool. $75 for that. We also got the really cool Gilbert lab set for girls. And we ended up working on a deal with the visitors with meat sign, <laughs> which ended up costing me $35 and $30 for a total of $65 on the pair of these. Yeah. So I'm at $140 for today, and it's been a pleasure me today. Too. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Marty. Awesome. Well, Marty, let's load the van. <laughs> yeah. You want some help? Sure. Come on. <laughs> I would love to come back and see Bill and Sashay again because I know that they're going to accumulate more stuff every single day, and there's gonna be more projects that need to be looked after, more surplus from their stores that we can get at bargain basement prices. Yeah, I wouldn't even mind checking out the stores while we're around, because the deals were great. Stuff was flying off the shelves. Well, what'd you think of Bill and Sasha? Man, they kicked me some crazy deals today, man. I got, I'm pretty sure I got a porcelain sign for $30 and almost caused a speed bump in a marriage. The negotiations were pretty hilarious in there today. Yeah. But yeah. it, it all evened out in the end. And the prices were good too. I'm really pleased, because you never know when you go to see a dealer what the prices are going to be like and how things are going to go. It was good quality merchandise. It wasn't like it was store leftover. Something been sitting around for three years and didn't move. You know, I got that really sweet dental drill. I've had them before. I always sell them. And this is one where I could turn into a really sweet lamp. It's a real standout piece. That's something that even though you've sold some before, yeah. this one might get you a couple bucks. And even like the, the visit with meat sign, whatever it was supposed to mean, it's still a really cool rustic piece. Someone's gonna think it's just as unique and bizarre as I do, but they're gonna pay me more than I did for it. Yeah, yeah, it's a neat piece because it looks good and it leaves a lot to the imagination. Ah, oh, Marty, curvy roads and everything and you're just so relaxed all the time. So, so relaxed, your leg would be out the window if it wasn't for the mosquitoes. I've done it. All right, I got a treat for us today. We're going to see a guy named Ian, and he says that his spot for fishing, with right where he's at, is the best. He's a collector. He's been collecting for a couple years, so he's relatively new to it, but he's got a ton of junk, and it's definitely worth going off the beaten path and checking him out. As a new collector, you don't know what you're going to find. This could be a great day, man. I can't wait to see what Ian has. Ian? 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 This car's here. Oh. Where would you be? Ian's nowhere to be found. There's a lake on the property. Guess where he is? At the lake. Happens to be fishing. I like him already. Hi, Ian. Hey, guys. How's it going? Not bad. Good. If I were you, I'd be out here working on it, too. Thanks for having us out here. This is a gorgeous spot. This oh. is, is, it, is it a cottage? Is it a house? No, it's my house. You live here full time? Yeah. Get out. Yeah. How long have you lived up here for? Uh, I've lived here full time for two years now. So where are you from the city? Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I lived down at Whitby before I moved up here and uh, uh, was a bread man for a long time, for 30 years. A bread man? A bread man. A bread man? I, I, I know like there's milkmen. Did you deliver bread to people's houses? Uh, right, not right to the houses. We would uh, we deliver it to uh, the supermarkets, the grocery stores, restaurants, oh, things cool. like that. So Marty and Bam Bam showed up and uh, all I've heard all day was one bread joke after the other. White bread. Brown bread. multi grain bread. Rye. Sourdough bread. Hot dog buns. Cornbread. Inbred. <laughs> yeah. So we heard we heard you had great fishing, but we also heard that you're into collecting. You've been at it for a couple years. Yeah, I've been uh, collecting antiques uh, for a few years now. Nice. Okay. You just keep you just start your collection, and as you know, you just collect more and more. And yeah. So where do you, you know. shop? Uh, I go to an auction. 
up here. Oh, nice. Uh, those, those are pretty addictive. You know what? Why don't we uh, Why don't we get up here? We'll look at some treasure, and that way you can get back to fishing. Sounds great. Let's do okay, it. Okay, thanks. Let's do it. All right. This is where the magic happens. Here it is. All right. Oh, oh nice. sweet burn full of antiques, buddy. Yeah, it is. There's stuff everywhere. Here's like the cowboy elf section right over here. Yeah, oh, totally been this day. Eh? Nice leather hat. Is it the brand new Marty? I don't know. Could be. Look, Look at this. It's small. We'll see. Indiana oh, Marty. That's you for sure. Marty Jones. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. It's actually not bad. Pretty tight. You look a lot cooler. It is. That's yeah. a pretty tight hat, yo. Are those chaps? Those are some sweet chaps. Yes. I came here with Marty, and I'm leaving with the Marlboro man. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Here's a sled section. I like it. Sleds. This is your whole winter section. This yeah. is great. It is. Nothing says fast sled like salmon and teal pinstriping. <laughs> I was told I was a European sled, that one. It, it looks like it is. Yeah. It's pretty unique. Where did you find this? At an auction? Yeah. Pretty nice. much everything here is from the auction. I see something over here I got to look at. There's a huge tobacco sign. Yeah, I do have some advertising pieces, too. Uh, no, again, no backstory, no. Uh, well, it's in, it's in good shape, mm -hmm. and it's older than I am, that's for sure. What would you have to have for a sign? Let's see if we can get the ball rolling today. Uh, this one here, I, I believe, about $120. Sold. That's a great deal. OK. I would have shook your hand if he didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is this is great. I love tobacco stuff. Mm -hmm. um, everybody wants stuff like that for their man cave. Good. But Vogue is one of the ones that you see less of. It's heard of, but there's not a ton out there. And the fact that it's French mm -hmm. is going to make it a little more rare. There's less French signs printed around here. OK, great. So for me to leave with that, sweet deal. Great. Marty, we're shopping. Apparently, I, he's got advertising. Well, if that's the okay. first piece you're buying, I mean, I'm excited to see what else there is. Oh. Oh, you've got some nice oil tins here, huh? Yes, I do. That's a nice one there, Coronation. Mm -hmm. See, this one's not as old as uh, the Coronation. Okay. This, this is going to be more 1950s. Mm -hmm. And these guys here are probably going to be about 10 years older. OK. I'll give you 45 for this one and this one. OK, I mean, I'm, into, I'm into these for a lot more than that. How much are you into <coughs> for? I paid $60 for each of them. So for each going. of the three? I paid $60 for each one. It sounds like you paid um, a reasonable price, but okay. not reasonable for us to, right. to, make, to make a solid offer on them. OK. But it's not like I'm done looking or anything. No, okay. not at all. I thought the price was going to be right on those, but he sunk a lot of money into them, and I couldn't even make an offer on those. So you like your tins? Yeah. <laughs> Tobacco <laughs> tins. <laughs> yeah. Tobacco tins, tea tins, biscuit tins. And the velvet one's nice. It's in really good shape. It's got good graphics on it. It's going to be right around 1950 on this one here. So what would you have to get out of this one? Uh, I, could, I could let you have that for five bucks. Five bucks? I'll take it. Sounds good. Done. OK, there we go. What if I grab a few more here? How much for four more tobacco tins? I, I'd let you have the four of those for 10 bucks. That'll save you some money so you can buy something else. Holy cow. Sound like I, so I think it's okay. a great deal. OK, good. Cigarette tins are more collectible every single day because there's less smokers. There's all kinds of restrictions on it now. And before we know it, it's going to be a thing of the past. So now is the time to start snapping it up. And if you want to collect it and have an investment that's worth something 20 years from now, that's it. OK, I, more to see. I do still have more tins uh, in the uh, garage. I have some. OK, yeah. that's good to know. Mm -hmm. What do we got here, buddy? Looks like Second World War. Yeah, these are old war photos. Mm -hmm. Now, did you get these just because you love the old military stuff? I do. I love old military, uh, anything to do with uh, history. Are these things you're selling or keeping? I would sell them to you, sure. How much do you want for each of these? I would say $5 each. It would be a fair price. That's more I, than fair. I think okay. that's very fair. I can't shake okay. this guy's hand enough. If you're into uh, <laughs> military items, there's something here you might be interested in. This is a Civil War bayonet. Oh, ah. nice. Oh. Okay. Now I'm, Let I'm, me stand back here. <laughs> I'm very interested in this because yeah. they stopped doing these. It is a Civil War bayonet. Okay. They stopped using them after that because the wounds from this blade, the triangle blade, wouldn't heal. You get infections, and they couldn't fix people. These are getting harder and harder to find. OK. A lot harder to find. What do you want for this? I would uh, ask $40 for that. I will give you $50 for that. You will? Because that's a really, really good deal. And oh, as a collector, fair. I'm not going to get rid of this. OK, that's a deal. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. What a that's a nice find. Okay, I haven't seen one of those in a few years. Really? Yeah. Okay. And, and that, that's in actually very good condition. Can I change my mind? Nope. No. <laughs> OK. I've never had anybody actually offer me more money than what my asking price was. And there's ammo cases. Sure. And what is that, Marty? 
This looks like a wood ammo case. It does. Let's see what the inside looks like here. That's really cool. I kind of like that. And I can put my tins and my pictures in it. Right. For $25. For $25? Yeah. You could. You could right. definitely do that. Sure. Awesome. I love this guy. All right. Awesome. Now, you said there's another spot to go look? There is. Why don't we head that way real quick and see what's going on? Let's do it. Okay. All right, I'll let you load up. You good? I'm good. He's packed and ready. Let's do it. OK. As fast as we can, we grab all the stuff, skim it off the top, we load up his ammo box and my arms. The deals were just getting started. Nice. All right, let's talk business. OK. Oh, right. man. It, oh. it looks like we can talk business here. I think we should just hit a wall and start digging around. All right, let's talk business. OK. Oh, All right. man. It, oh. Looks, it looks like we can talk business here. Okay. Stubbies, ammo cases. Why don't we run in, and then we'll build a pile, and we'll see what you think. Go nuts. OK. What do we got here? Compound bow. Uh-huh. Is this yours? It is. Really? Yeah, I would let that go for sure. What, what do you got to have out of this? Uh, 20 bucks sound good. Holy smokes, does it ever. I'll throw in the quiver, too. Ah! Uh, there, there's what? Like, there's a quiver that goes with it. 25. OK. Right. Smoke it down. What else do we got here, buddy? <laughs> I offer them 20 bucks, because that's about what I paid for it. And I'm happy to move it on. A reproduction. Oh, look, check this out. Oh, that's not a reproduction. No. No, that's the no. real deal. That's a nice porcelain five roses flower push bar on your door. And uh, this one's going to be probably from the 1930s. It's a good shape, too. It's a beauty. And then here. We've got a Pepsi one. Mm -hmm. Now it's a little more modern. Not porcelain, just tin. So they're both nice in their own way. Have you got a price in mind? Uh, I'm not too sure what to ask for those. OK. In that case, we'll just put them in the pile. Put them in the pile. We'll sort it out later. All right. Sort it out later. <laughs> cold filtered. Wait a minute. What's cold filtered? Plug it in right beside you there. Cold filtered. Miller Genuine Draft. Um, is this is this something you found at the auction up here? Yes, it is, yeah. See, that's not a firm implement. I wouldn't expect that to be going through auctions up here. All right, you know what? I think I'm going to have to throw it in the pile. OK. I thought you might be interested in that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was looking along the wall. I think I see one more. Yes, the low one brow. It also works. That one's a lot newer. Yeah. It's got some markings on it. This one's newer, too, right? That's classic, that, yeah. But it's interesting. It is nice. Perfect I, for the man cave. I was going to say, I might <laughs> I might have to put both of those in the pile. OK. Marty, what'd you find? I know he's hiding it from me. Uh-oh. Is oh, this uh, back here in the corner for a reason? Uh, I was hoping you wouldn't find that. <laughs> well, oh. it's a nice old fire extinguisher. I'm going to put that with the pile. We'll okay. see how that goes. Sure. I can tell you like it quite a bit. I do like that. I have. <laughs> yeah, you try, you're like, Next time, do a better job hiding it on me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Marty took my fire extinguisher, which was one of my favorite items. I was starting to second guess a little bit when I noticed that they were starting to take all of my favorite items. There's an old uh, railroad lantern over here, Marty. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah. That's a nice one. It's not really my cup of tea, but I appreciate them, you know what I mean? And that one's, that one's good looking. Something you're after? Where'd you get this from? I got that from the auction also. Man, this auction sounds like the place to shop. Yeah. A lot of railway stuff and oil lanterns, they show up at auctions all the time, don't they? Yes, they do, yeah. Did you have to sink much into this one? I did sink a lot into that one, actually. I bet you did. Yeah. It's a good looking piece. Even yes. me, like, I'm not huge into them, but it's definitely an eye catcher. It's in great shape. Really, really stands out. Uh -huh. But at the same time, I don't spend a lot of money on them just because the collector's market on those is really starting to die quick. OK. So you got to find that old guy who still collects them and pays top dollar for them. Right. And I have a feeling you probably got about 75, 80 into that. Oh, a lot more than that. No. Oh. I I paid 220 for that. I'm gonna go at ahead. An auction. Yeah. I have a thing for uh, railway things. I think you have a thing for not losing at an auction. <laughs> <laughs> that might be it. Yeah. <laughs> this I was told was uh, uh, from a, a local legion up here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is from a billiard room. Yeah. So this one here, a little more modern. They've done it up in like the 1930s style, but it's but it's not that old. That's not even like a real slate either. But it's still got a nice look to it. Mm -hmm. It's worth throwing in the pile and seeing how we make out, right? Sure, yeah, you can't go wrong. Gotta love the pile. You didn't pull out the smoking devices, Bam Bam. I, no, oh, I did. The uh, old take. German pipes, I was told. I think they'd just be German or Austrian style. They're not very old. 
So these look like more almost touristy type pieces because the quality is not outstanding. This one here is older, mm -hmm. uh, probably looking at about 1950s, maybe a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. And this one here is probably going to be more 1970s. But they brought a lot of this stuff in after the war. Mm -hmm. It became you know, pretty collectible for a while and then died off. And now it's just a bit of a, a niche thing. You have to have a couple in your house just because they're neat and quirky, right? Mm -hmm. So they're going in the pile. OK. So how are you making out here? Not bad. Oh, I think you left your tackle box here, Ian. Let's see about holy crap balls. This looks like a real collection. Mm -hmm. This looks like something that, like you said, you've taken time. This doesn't look like something you're selling cheap. No. I don't think I'm catching a crazy deal on here. No. So, we we uh, take our pile and uh, give, give, give bread man some dough. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, see how much dough we got to give the bread oh, man. We brought lots of dough. All okay. right, let's do this. All right. Ian brought his A game today. He was giving us really good deals. The reason for that being, he wants to go get more stuff. Because this guy has a honey hole in an auction he's not going to tell us about. And he wants to go back there as fast as he can with a wad of cash and outbid everybody and get the great stuff. Man. He was not kidding about being a collector. Yeah. You've only been at this for a few years, but honestly, Ian, you're doing a great job. There is some great stuff that you've found, that you've got great deals on, and that you're giving us great deals on. OK, You good. gave me an incredible tobacco sign, uh, and I got this for 125 bucks, which is a, a, an absolute smoking deal. The compound bow and the quiver you threw in, mm -hmm. 25 bucks, can't go wrong with that. I grabbed one of the old war pitchers, Marty grabbed a couple, so five bucks for a pitcher that I'll get tons of enjoyment out of, and a lot of people I know are really going to appreciate. The Spike Bayonet, which is a really, really good find. Few and far between as time goes on. And 50 bucks, an another screaming deal. OK. The only things I haven't asked you about are the two beer signs here. What do you want for these? Ah, uh, I have a little bit of money into the big one. Um... 140, I would say. 140 for the pair, for and the that's two. the big one? For the two. How much for just the little one? Ah, uh, $30. Done. I'm gonna leave the big one with you for now. Okay. So that puts okay. me at 235 bucks. Okay, great. Awesome. Okay. Marty, you're up. How'd you do, man? All right, so we negotiated a few things inside of uh, the barn, mm -hmm. which were the tobacco tins. Right. We got the four for 10. We got the velvet one for five the two war pictures at $5 each, mm -hmm. and then the ammunition box for 25 So we're sitting at 50 on um, the pieces we've already agreed on. Right. So we got the scorekeeping board from the old pool hall. Mm -hmm. We got the copper fire extinguisher, the two push bars, mm -hmm. the two pipes. Have you had a minute to come up with what you think you'd like for these pieces here? I would say. Uh, four hundred dollars for the the whole thing. Hmm. Have you had a minute to come up with what you think you'd like for these pieces here? I would say uh, four hundred dollars for the the whole thing. I'm way out of my way off. Uh, I don't think you're way off. Okay. I think, I think we're a little bit off. Okay. So I'm gonna try and feel you out on what, because I you grimaced when I grabbed this. You were trying to hide I, I that. I do have a I have fondness for that. Yeah. You have I fondness like that, for yeah. this. Okay. Yeah. So I want you to tell me what these two pieces are worth to you. Two hundred and twenty, I would guess. So that mm -hmm. leaves one eighty here. Right. I'm comfortable paying one eighty for what's here, plus the fifty. 230. Sounds like a great deal. deal. Okay, thanks. I think that's awesome. And Thank you get to keep a couple pieces you're more fond of. Yeah, thanks a lot for that. Well, why don't we load the van and then catch dinner? If he's okay with it. That sounds great. Let's Let, do it. Let's okay. do it. Awesome. All right. Okay, guys. All around, it was win-win for both of us because he got to keep the two pieces he liked the best. I got to get the pieces I like the best for a good price. Overall, today, I'd have to say that working with Ian has been a real slice. <laughs> Are we done with all the bad bread puns already? I don't know. I'm still baking a few up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm starting to get a little crusty. Yeah, some are yet to rise. <laughs> it doesn't get much better than this, buddy. Nope. You got smoking deals. Smoking deals? I'm so jealous you got that uh, Vogue sign before I did. <laughs> I'm lucky. I'm lucky. And you got those cigarette signs for practically nothing. 
Oh, we got Fish one. Fish on! Fish on! Oh, he's a nice oh, one, too. Oh, look at that, buddy. Here, I got the rod. You got the fish? You need pliers? Oh, you got him. I got my seatbelt on <laughs> since you're driving today. Because your driving sucks. My driving gets us there fast. Yeah, exactly. Too fast. And we rarely hit gravel on the side of the road, Marty. I'd rather hit the gravel at the speed limit than... Uh, than not hit it at all? I disagree. Than the ditch at 150. I've never hit the ditch. And now, we need to focus. Because we're taking a gamble and we're going back to see Ernie. <laughs> I know. So, last time I lost a gamble there and I need to make that back. Oh, really? You gonna try that with him again? Oh, you lost big time, man. I did lose big time. Today, I'm gonna put myself in the driver's seat when it comes to negotiating with Ernie. Oh, as long as it's only when you come to negotiating because your driving is scarier than her room of dolls. This Black is three. the major part of my love of dolls. <laughs> No, nothing is scarier than her room of dolls. Yeah. Nothing is scarier than her than walking out and handing me a severed finger. Look what I have. Oh, oh man. Oh, God. you didn't you do go. that. Oh. oh, that's disgusting. I know. Oh, you can still see the nail. So we're back at Ernie and Judas, AKA Goldfinger. Gotcha. Welcome back. back. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, I thought we were welcomed here. <laughs> Holy smokes. That was what dying. a greeting, yeah. right? Almost took my hat off that time. Marty and Bam Bam are back. I can't believe it. We were here last time. You had so much stuff that we didn't even get to go into the man cave. Ah, right. It yeah, was. you ain't seen Ooh. nothing yet. Yeah. Well, perfect. That's what I like to hear. Let's get in the man cave and show me okay. something. Okay. Yeah, well, you guys can go in the man cave, and I'm going over to the woman's cave. Perfect. That Good sounds time. reasonable. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh yeah. It's man cave crazy in here. Oh. oh nice score. Oh, oh. Everything. Oh, yeah. You might spot that. Everything is coming up treasure hunter. The first thing I noticed as soon as we walked into the man cave, super manly, and there was a whip hanging right on the wall. I knew instantly that I had to get that away from his hands. So I grabbed it and kept that for some negotiating. Yeah. This looks like something that might come in later as a bargaining tool. What do you Absolutely, think? Absolutely, yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Now, I'm staring down not just one barrel, but it looks like about a half a dozen, maybe more. What's going on here? I'm well, it's just going to step of out of the hobbies. line of fire. One of my hobbies. I like these. These are big bang cannons. Uh, they were invented about 110 years ago, and they're as a safe alternative to gunpowder and matches for kids. Mm -hmm. And I'm a big kid, so I collect them, and I have more of them in the house. How old is your oldest one? Well, this one is very old, about a, that, close to 100. Close 100 to 100 years, years yeah. old. And there's a couple in the house that are, again, very close to 100 years old. All right, well, let's whip. There's <laughs> some treasure yeah. hunting. Hey, well, let's go over so here. So, Ernie, <laughs> you've got a VW over here. Yeah, yeah. It stinks, it's gutless, but I love it. Marty, are you not interested in this at all? Are you not interested in that at all? What? Do oh! You know, do you know what that is? It's a wicker casket. <laughs> I thought we were done with all the human remains and all the rest of that uh, stuff. Well, I did say this was kind of a spooky place. Usually you're looking down at a casket, not up. <laughs> but that just happened to be the case today. He ran out of real estate and it was hanging from the wall. So how much do you want out of it? Oh, uh, four-ish. That's, that's a little that's rich. That's not thousand. That's a little rich. I would guess it, it's probably about 75 to 80 years old or much older. Mm -hmm. They don't use that kind of thing anymore because it isn't very sanitary. No, no. I think, uh, yeah, for me, comfortably, to make any money on it, I would pay you 250 straight oh. up. That's it, though. Oh. I'm wounded. I'll take three. Well, I'm going to stick at 250 right now, and we'll see if we can uh, work something out today. Sounds good to me. OK. Well, let's let's keep digging around here. So what else we got over here? What do you got there? You got oh, a ring bell here. Whatever the heck I'm, You know what? I got to know. That's where is from, this from? Well, it's from a gym that uh, I was told that George Chevello used to box. <laughs> oh! OK, you got to push it out. There you go. Round one. So 
Do you have any letters or pictures of this at the gym while oh. he's sitting there boxing or Forget training? Forget it. If, no it did, if I did, I wouldn't be uh, offering it to you for the low price of. of? Oh, Keep going, I... hit me. Of the low price of? $60. Oh! That's a little, but that's with the whip, eh? $70. $70 with the whip. Now, I gotta break my streak. I've gotta break my streak. I came here before and I lost and you made money. I'm not losing. I'm flipping. I'm Let's do losing. it. So here's what I say. We flip a coin, right. 70 bucks for the pair. Right. If you win. If I win. If I win. 50 bucks for the pair. All right. All right. Who's Marty, got a coin? you got a coin? I got a coin. Yes. I got a couple. Hold it. OK, there's your coin. I want you to flip what it. What happened to the left? Oh. OK, hold I on a second I want you here. to flip the yeah, coin, that... and I want you to call it. In this corner, we have Ernesto Goldfinger. Over here, we have Bearded Bam Bam. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready to rumble. <laughs> ready? It's going to be heads. Are you ready? I'm ready to rumble. Ready? It's gonna be heads. Oh, heads! You just have terrible luck. I won two coin tosses. Funny. You know what, though? What, Good what, deal. Dude? 70 bucks. Oh, no, it's a great deal. That's yeah. a lovely piece. It is. Let's keep going. Yeah, Let's I take go a right gander up. here. All righty, more stuff on the second floor. Let's do it. Oh, nice. Right behind you guys. Nice is right. Right there. Holy oh. searchlight, Bam Bam! <laughs> that, that's like bad signal it's worthy. It's totally a bad signal. How long have you been summoning superheroes? Well, it's one of the things we do here. <laughs> you got a price in mind? I don't know, probably, I don't know, a couple of hundred bucks anyway. I think we'll uh, deal with that in a second. I want to look around a little more first. Yeah. That's a big one. That's awesome. Oh, that's uh, club stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's bug out. Yeah, last year's bug out. Those are shirts that didn't sell. Holy cow. How much were you selling them for? Oh, I don't know. The club probably wants 10 bucks a piece. Is it a charity? Well, we always donate. Well, as long as the money goes towards a good cause, I think we should both grab one today. What do you think? Is there like a bulk deal? Like if I wanted to buy five of them? Absolutely. Would you How do about... five for 40 bucks? OK. Done. Deal. All right. We got five. All right. Now, this is kind of nice. That's a big one. Yeah. That's um, a street lamp from Dundas, Ontario. Really? Oh, nice. It's gas. It was gas, of course. This would be pre electric. Yeah. And you've and now it's, rig it? it's rigged up to light up on electricity. Yeah. Interesting piece because of the age of it, right? Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. I don't know. It would obviously be because they had hydro in the early 1900. Yep. So it would be from 1800s. Yeah, oh, definitely. How much are you asking? A lot. 350 minimum. Right. You Looking for a, a large you one. You need a large, high room to display it in because, of course, yeah. originally it was on top of a pole. Yeah. What's that? What you got? There's some box of odds oh, and ends here. Stuff. Oh, for gosh sake, how did that get this there? This is a nice looking ashtray. <laughs> how much you want for that? I don't know. 10 bucks, maybe? Yeah, that's good for me. Uh oh, uh oh. Get some competition. How did you find that? <laughs> Rubber thumb versus yeah. Goldfinger. Yeah, uh, guys, you know, there's another shed um, with something I'd really like to show you down there, something you might get quite a kick out of, so. I'd really like to let's, see it. Let's go. It's, let's do it. It's downstairs, and away we go. All right. Get a kick out of everything else. If you can give me a hand here, just it goes to the left. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look at this. That's not for sale. That's my lawnmower. You can't have it. Oh, it's a nice lawnmower, that's for sure. Yeah, that's so sure. what are we, where are we headed here? Underneath this tarp uh, plastic cover thing here. Right, right here? Yeah, yeah, something really old and interesting. You do the reveal. Oh, right on. Oh, Solex yeah. power bike. Yeah, they're, uh, the they're French. There's a, there's a uh, Post-war, you know. Old and funny. Oh, OK, so this is a moped-type machine here. Yeah, sort of long before anybody else was making a moped. Right. Yeah. Th these were designed, uh, you know, to provide transportation for 
uh, people in France, and they sold millions of them. Right. Just after the war. They're kind of like power bike mopeds, and they're really, really collectible. And I honestly, I don't think I've seen the Solex before. I have the correct front wheel for this one. This one looks a little better, but it's got newer parts on it. If you're not parting these out, what are you selling them for? These in unrestored condition. Um, I'd probably want about 300 bucks for them. So I like them, but I want something a little more slick. I mean, I don't really like the crude looking frame on it or anything like that. <laughs> it's old. Oh, well, of course it is, yeah. But I mean, so are Vespas and stuff like that, and they're a lot more fine. Or yeah. some of the other, you know, the more, more real mopeds. They are old, very powerful. And even but the these don't do a whole lot for me. Well, that's okay. I mean, I know they're collectible. Uh, they're odd, and they're collectible, and, you know, they're but, history. Uh, thanks for showing us. We don't get to see stuff like this very often, well, just yeah. like you said. Not everybody has one, yeah. let me yeah. tell you. If there's nothing else in here... We should probably start building a pile. Yeah, I think so. I don't see and then jobs. find a way to pay the man without losing another gamble. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> or a finger. I had those Solexes. I'm kind of disappointed that we didn't sell them. But on the other hand, somebody will, you know... I'll, I'll put them up for sale some other time. Well, for a guy who continually loses gambles, <laughs> I'm pretty happy. Guys, 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 uh -oh. guys. No. Th this is the money part, right? Uh, yeah. I've got to be involved I was gonna in say, the money part. You were tingling. You tingling. knew something was yeah, going on. Tingly senses. Come yeah. on down. <laughs> I, I got a great old boxing bell with a bit of a story. I made it all up. That's all right. I'll make a, I'll continue it. I'll keep that long line of heritage going. Got some great old bug out club shirts. Collector item stuff. Yeah, it is, it is. And I've got people that love wearing funky shirts. And then I've got this. Should I ever have tough negotiations on my hands? Which is great because between all this stuff, I'm in for $110. Great. Well, it was our pleasure. Thank for you sure. so much. Super, man. Thank you. Now, Marty. Yeah, you're a little tough today. <laughs> you wouldn't really give me any answers. Well, I don't know where we're at on this stuff. Well, the one answer you did give me uh, was $10 on... Oh, that collector item piece, yeah. The ashtray, yeah, okay? Ashtray. So we've we established that that's $10. You wanted 300 for the casket, and you said $200 for the searchlight. I was holding pretty firm at 250 on the casket. Yeah, I don't know how we got down that low. What I'll do is, your total, basically, not including the ashtray, was $500. $300 and $200. Right. I'll give you $450 for it all. Your total, basically, not including the ashtray, was $500. $300 and $200. Right. I'll give you $450 for it all. What do you think, babe? Yeah, it's only money, right? And they're nice yeah. guys, they're nice. right? All right. Yeah, okay, but so. oh, and we've okay. done business. Before. There you go. You can keep oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Wow! Thank you right. so well, much. Guys. We're gonna go load up here. Okay. Good enough. Okay. Thank you again, guys. Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah. Did they get the body out of there? Well, it stopped oh, smelling. It may not yeah. even be in there anymore. I hope not. I, I can't believe there was, I think it's because I'm an old guy, and they, they were just giving me a break, because they were more than fair with me. I hope they're that fair with other people. Well, we did all right today. We did very all right today. We were ringing in the prizes. Yeah. <laughs> Angel lost another bet. I can't seem to win. No. That guy's a real gambler. But you know what? I'll take a gamble and go see them anytime. I'm in love with that search light. How can you not? I've, be? I've wanted a bat signal for the longest time. A casket in a in a VW shop? It didn't even seem at home in there with the rest of the stuff, right? It looked like it was going to be all automotive stuff and a few other things lying around. But uh, I love it. I think it's really cool. Hey. Hey, what are you saying? Oh, let me guess. You're practicing your driving. Why? I can tell from the posture. Oh, because my legs up. That's totally Marty behind the wheel. What is this? It's a Loch Ness monster, but it's like a pottery piece in four pieces. Is it old? Did you pick that up along the way? Yeah, it's like from the 50s and the 60s. It's just cool, though, because it looks like it's coming out of the water. Or the table. Uh, anything new and, new and popping over here or what? Yeah. What? Busy. 
Busy with I'm what? I'm always busy. Busy with, with selling process. stuff. What'd you sell? Uh, remember Ian? The bread man. I remember Ian yeah. the bread man. The jokes never stopped. But we got some pretty cool stuff from him, remember? Yeah. One of the cool pieces I got that I'd never seen before was the Five Roses Flower Push Bar, the porcelain one. It was yes. red and white. Um, I got that in a package deal. I paid him 180 for that. Most of the money was into that. It was about 120 is basically what I was paying him for that. So I put that up on my webpage and I put a big number on it because I didn't see any others for sale or sold anywhere. Check this out. It's already sold. Wow. $300. Off of one bar and in no time at all. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, if you want to know how to make dough, you got to go see the bread man, right? That's right. It worked out well. Yeah, that's sweet, man. I got to start putting a couple things online because you seem to have a lot of luck with that. I know. People pay attention. Hey, remember the uh, second time we went to see Ernie? Bing, bing. Yes. Round two, that bell. I picked that bell up in a package deal for 70 bucks with a really great old leather whip with a wood handle. Right. Which I love. I've got it hanging on a wall. I've got a guy who's interested in it, and he wants me to hang on to it till he can come down on the weekend for 100 bucks. Oh, okay, that's not so bad. To have someone interested in just the bell at 100 bucks, I'm gonna more than double my money on that, and I get to keep a really, really cool whip. Yeah, and you lost the coin toss, too, and you had to pay more for it, because Goldfinger never loses. He never loses, but I always find a way to win.